Okay, I was born and raised in uh, Milford, Michigan, a little town. Uh, it was actually a village. <laughs> it wasn't even a town. And uh, we were outdoors all the time. It was, it was great. I was very fortunate uh, to be able to be out in nature uh, most of my life and, uh, growing up. And then I graduated from high school and immediately joined the military. I'm a Vietnam veteran and I uh, was a medic. I worked in surgery uh, and, and I always wanted two things when I was growing up. One was to be in the military. The second was to be a doctor. And so when I was 16 years old, our family doctor brought me into his clinic to work with him because he saw potential in me. And uh, he got me my first job in the hospital before I graduated. And then uh, after I graduated from high school, I joined the military and, uh, and uh, served for six years. Saw a lot, did a lot, and uh, I learned a lot uh, while I was in about many things, uh, especially medicine. I realized in medicine, we treat symptoms, not causes. And that is because of the pharmaceutical industry. They do not make money pre preventing. They've got to have you ill so they can keep making meds to give out to make money on. And I got fed up with that system. And so I got into chiropractic. I did not go to medical school. I was supposed to go to medical school. But PTSD hit and that put a kibosh on it. God has ways of putting you where you're supposed to go. So that's what happened to me. And uh, I got into natural medicine, uh, if you will. Chiropractic isn't necessarily medicine, but it's a, a natural health. But I got into nutrition. I got into what's called applied kinesiology, which uses the meridians of the body, the acupuncture meridians, muscle testing and things like that energy. So I got into all this early on in the 70s. And, uh, and I practiced that. Uh, I just retired after 42 years. And uh, I found out about the patches after I retired. And I got all excited because I've known about stem cells. But injecting stem cells is very, well, you got to be a medical doctor for one. Number two, it's expensive. And a lot of people can't afford it. And they don't always work like anything. Nothing works for everybody. But I got very excited when I found out about the patches and that you could just put a patch on to stimulate your body's own production of stem cells to go where it needs to go. And uh, so I have been talking it up to everybody. And uh, and a lot of my friends grew up with medicine and, you know, they're poo-pooing it. But that's okay because everybody takes their own time to, to wake up to things. And, and you just keep bringing it up little bits at a time. And some of them will come over to it. In fact, I have a friend whose wife um, has been through a lot. She's had a lot of sciatic pain hip pain, shoulder pain, and she's going in Monday for uh, surgery to get some calcific uh, spurs removed from her shoulder. But we've got her on the patches and it's helped a bit already, okay? Uh, I, I have been pretty healthy myself. I did have some muscles removed from my shoulder um, and it weakened my, my shoulder a lot. And, I, and I've had pain in it, but I put the uh, Eon patches on it, which it actually did reduce the pain and actually gave me a little more oomph in my shoulder. I use the X39 just in general to give me the energy 
and whatever that I need. And I know I haven't been on it that long, just about a month and a half, but I know it takes time. I'm 76 and not going to happen overnight. So, but what I tell the people that I talk to about these don't expect an overnight miracle, but I'm some people I have had that. I have a pay, person who has sciatica for eight years without fail every day, excruciating pain, has had injections, meds, surgery, back surgery, nothing has helped. She put the patches on each side. The next day she had no pain, none. Blew me away. It blew her away. The patches um, are incredible. And so I just tell people, don't expect a miracle. If you get it, so be it. Thank God for that. But let's let the body generate those cells. When we're infants, we have tons and tons of stem cells. But as we age, it cuts in half and then cuts in half again. And so we're losing those abilities to uh, create the stem cells. But the patches start telling the body, hey, let's turn that back on. And that's what I tell people. We're turning your body on. And that's what it needs to produce these and start helping you heal. So that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And now, Harley, what's your story? Well, um, the patients he was talking about are actually friends of mine. I'm also a Vietnam-era veteran from the Air Force. And um, he started talking to me about these patches and about how they're working, and I talked to my friend Dorothy about it. And she says, well, I don't know. I kind of feel like nothing is going to help me. I'm just going to be like this forever. I said, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Talk to him. Find out where you can get more information on it. Try it. It costs nothing to try it. And if it works, great. But if it doesn't work, you haven't given up anything for it. And um, our friends are on these patches now. The first day she wore the patches, she came over to my apartment. We're across the hall from each other. And she's like, look. <laughs> yeah, she could not lift her shoulders. I put her on the Eon patches for her shoulders. And when I was over there, I was on the computer typing all the stuff in. And she says, Rick. I said, what? She says, I think the pain's going down in my shoulders. And I said, really? Good, good. Okay. But then the next morning, she walked over. Usually, she's in a walker. She walked over and said, showed Harley. I was on the computer in the office. And she says, Harley, look. <laughs> look, Mom, no hands. <laughs> and so Harley yells at me, says, Rick, come here. Somebody wants to see you. <laughs> so and there's Dorothy doing this. <laughs> And I have another patient with a similar situation and, and she's feeling a decrease in the pain as well. So I, it's, it's really wonderful. And, uh, and then I, I do have a couple that I have treated for a long time who have tremendous amount of degeneration and we just got them on it and they haven't really felt anything yet. But they said, we know it's not going to happen overnight. And they want to stick with it. And mm -hmm. they made they made a six-month commitment to this. Because they know they're aware of how the body works. And uh, so they're, they're not giving up hope at all. And I, I am going to change. I, I had them on Eon. I want to put them on the ice wave. Now you have you have all these people on X39 as well, just to be clear. Absolutely. The They're all on yes. X39. And then additional, I'm doing the other things. And right. and I'm fairly new to this too. So I'm learning all the different patches and the, the uh, peptides in them and how they work. Uh, you never stop learning. Never. And that's what I love. I when I was in college and graduating, we were we all got up and had our caps and 
and the row in front of me starts up and the guy that comes from the last guy, just a little short guy, not that I'm big, but he's shorter than I am. And he's older, a lot older than I am. I said, excuse me, how old are you? He said, I'm 72. I said, what are you doing here? He said, <laughs> young man, you're never too old to learn. And I so Harley, for yourself though, you also had an experience with decrease in pain. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Um, so what was going on with you? Well, moving into this apartment, I had a lot of falling episodes, which is very common in, with a person in their mid 60s. And um, at one point I fell and fractured my pelvis and I was told, oh, that could take years to heal. Now the pain's not going to get any better or it might, but it's not likely to. Well, I started doing all these other things and I'm a strong believer in integrated medicine. Not everything works for everybody. And so I started using uh, CBD and things started getting better. And then down the road, I learned about the patches and I started using those. Every little bit helps. Every moment without pain is another moment that you're gonna be healing. You can't heal with pain. I got to tell you how strong she is. When she fell, we were on another block walking the dogs. She, the dog wrapped a leash around her and she fell and she couldn't get up. I said, you stay right here. I'm going to get the car. Now, this is over a block away. I get to the car and I pull out and I come to the drive and there she is standing there. She had a fractured pelvis and she walked all the way home. I couldn't believe it. I said, are you kidding? I didn't know at the time that she had fractured it in two places until we took her and got the x-rays. 